Hello, uh, welcome to this video. Uh, I'm going to show you how to edit the Babel config of a Create React application. Crucially, we are going to be doing that without ejecting the application. So let's dive straight in. I have created using MPX a brand new application. Uh, so all I ran was uh, MPX, MPX, uh, create React app sample application. So I'm going to CD into sample application and open it up. It's not MPMX, by the way, it's MPX. So CD sample application. And let's clear this terminal down and open up VS Code. So within VS Code, I'm just going to open up the terminal window. So terminal, new terminal. Uh, and I'm just going to run npm run start. So let's just see how that's available to us. Uh, so that has loaded up my brand new React application. So while that's loading, I'm just going to show you. Uh, I'm just going to give you some understanding of why we were able to run, why we were able to run npm run start. It will also allow you to appreciate why we can't necessarily ac access the underlying build configuration. So let's have a look. So start is a React script. Uh, sorry, is a npm script uh, in the package.json file. I run npm run start to run it, and what it's doing, it's an alias for calling this uh, command here, start. And you can see this, this does something. It calls React scripts, uh, and it passes it uh, the argument start. So what this is actually doing, so let's come into node modules, is it's going to be calling React scripts from within here, from within the bin directory in our node modules file. So React Scripts contains all of the configuration, all the webpack uh, and the Babel uh, configuration to build our app and run the dev server. The problem arises when we want to edit that configuration. It is hidden to us. And why might we want to do this? And there will often be times when you're developing when you want to do this. So let's put it into context. So say, for instance, I want to install the styled components library. Style Components is a fantastic CSS in JS library. The problem is Style Components and other libraries that are similar, such as Emotion, uh, normally require us, require us, in this instance it's not uh, required, but highly recommended, they require us to install a Babel plugin. The problem is, to install a Babel plugin, we need to access the build config, and we can't do that because it's hidden within React Scripts. The fact it's hidden in React Scripts is fantastic because it means that we don't have to worry about any of the configuration. So we have two options right now available to us. Uh, the first thing we could do is we could uh, eject our application. Uh, so we would eject it by running npm run eject. You cannot reverse this. And what this would do is it would copy all of the configuration into our application directory and then we could edit it. But we also have to maintain that configuration and also it's adding a lot of files and a lot of overhead to our project. So ejecting is, uh, is quite an extreme thing. Um, it's not the end of the world. Uh, however, if we can avoid it for just uh, a simple modification like this, uh, all the better. Okay, so let's consider what we might wanna do. There is a way of editing uh, this kind of React Scripts build process without ejecting. And that's what I'm going to show you now. So let's come to the documentation for style components uh, and I'm going to show you how this might work. So the first thing I'm going to do is install style components, bring up a new terminal window and run npm install style components. The next thing I'm going to do is install the Babel plugin. That's going to take a little bit of time, but I will bring up another terminal window and I'll install the Babel plugin. So let's do that now. npm install save dev uh, the Babel plugin. And we need in order to access, so let's just, sorry, let's just have a look and put this into context. The uh, In order, the plugin 
call order in your Babel RC file matters. So we need to create a Babel RC file and we need to add this bit of JSON here. And what this is telling Babel to do is use this plugin or use this preset if you like. Notice how it's an array. We can have multiple presets in that. We've just got one for now. The problem is at the moment, uh, our Webpack development process is not expecting a Babel RC file. So we can create this and let's create this now and let's add this uh, bit of JSON. So new file dot babel dot rc, I believe. I always forget what it's called. Uh, dot babel, sorry, dot babel rc. It's not dot rc. So I'm just going to rename that. So it's dot babel rc. So I've created my babel rc file. I'm going to just paste in uh, this uh, plugins uh, array. And I can put various presets in here. So that allows me to extend Babel. But like I said at the moment, uh, React Scripts is not looking here. So I believe that actually installed. Uh, we got a slight error there. That's not really a problem, I don't think. Okay. So let's just clear that down. So in order to get React, uh, build the build React process to look here uh, and use the .babel RC file, there's a couple more steps. Very, very simple. I'm going to be using this customized CRA. So that's customized C create react app. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to make changes to the build config without ejecting. So very, very useful uh, and quite simple to use, but the documentation is on the, on the, uh, on the complicated side. Uh, so we're going to grab the dependencies here. Uh, so customize react app, React re Rewind, so there's two dependencies that we require. Uh, customize Create React App depends on React App Rewired, which is another project, but we don't need to worry too much about it. So npm install, get rid of that add bit. So dash dash save dash dev. Uh, so this is gonna be a development dependency and we're just going to install both of those. So effectively what this does is customize React app will replace our React scripts and it allows us to modify the build process. Uh, so let's consider how that might be done. So in order to do this, we firstly need to create a new file uh, and I'm going to call that file uh, and this is a standard name, config, config, overrides.js and this is in the root level of sample application I then can start using the CRA uh, customized CRA plugin uh, so we are going to use Babel RC we are I guess also going to use override and uh, this is this is node by the way so this is why i'm using require so this is going to run a build time and it is node that that runs the build time process for us so i need to require customize customize cra and it's pretty simple to use i'm just going to say module module if i can spell today module dot exports uh, and i'm going to use this override function here so this is a function and I am going to pass into it use Babel RC. So this is going to tell the build process and there should be an equals there by the way. So this is going to tell the build process to, and I don't need that. And now I have a correct, uh, have a correct file. Uh, this is going to tell the build process to now use the dot Babel RC. But there is one uh, final thing we need to do. We need to replace create React App with React App Rewired. So we need to replace create React App, which is installed for us these React scripts, with uh, React App Rewired. And we need to do that for each occurrence of React scripts.
and eject, we don't change that. We don't change that because if we're ejecting, this becomes redundant anyway. Okay, so let's come back to my terminal and let's rerun npm run start, which is now running React app rewired. And everything starts as normal. But now the Babel RC file is being read. How do I know that? Well, let's change this so there's an error in there. And clear that. I think it already said can't find module, but let's let's start it again. And you can see, can't find module. Babel plugin style components, so can't find the module. So it's now reading style components. Uh, the style components Babel plugin. So that is how you do it. Uh, hopefully very quickly I've shown you how to do that. Uh, a few little errors there, but you can, you can follow along. So thank you very much and good luck. Uh, it's also worth noting, uh, we can also override the Webpack config. There's loads of stuff we can do with customize CRL. It's not just, uh, it's not just overriding the Babel uh, RC file there. Okay, thank you.